what Romans chapter 9 says. So we can lead our thoughts in that same line, Romans chapter 9. If we begin on verse 11, it begins to strengthen the thought that the Spirit wants to carry out tonight. It says, for the children not yet being born nor having done either good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election may stand, not of works, but of him who calls. It was said to her, the elder will serve the younger, as it's written. I love Jacob. I hate Esau. What shall we then say? Is there unrighteousness in God? Certainly not. Well, it says to Moses, I would have mercy to whomever I want to have mercy and and be merciful upon who I want to be merciful. So it doesn't depend on him who runs or him who wants to show, but of God who has mercy. The more you surrender, the more bearable God's will will be in your life. Because it doesn't depend on your works. It depends on the calling, the election, and God chose you. But as long as your reasoning and your opinions continue to govern your life, as long as that personality continues to struggle, you will suffer more. But if you are a chosen vessel of mercy, he already has a plan laid out for you. There are good works ordained beforehand. Don't struggle, but think in the life that you have presently. It took me a while to understand that. But it's that I had no one that can teach it to me. Now you have someone that can teach you. And how well has it been for me not to continue struggling? I stopped struggling. If someone lies to me, well, he lied. If he betrayed me, he betrayed me. If he told me the truth, he told me the truth. If he was unfaithful, he was unfaithful. This is not a matter of who is willing or who decides to run. God is upon your life. If someone is machinating against you, let them. It suits you that they machinate. Allow God to fulfill his purpose in you. If they're deceiving you, let them deceive you. Unless you realize it. But that struggle of always being struggling, of being watchful, what happened if I would have done this, if I would have moved on time, if my parents would have made that decision when I was a child, how sad they didn't make that decision. People always worried about what should have, would have. I've almost accomplished that. I almost did it. I forgot it. Well, if you forgot it, leave it alone. (laughs) Rest. Let the oven give you the necessary fire to cook you. The longer you are cooked, the tastier you'll become and the faster we can eat you. The faster you be useful to that which you were formed. The more you struggle, the more the oven has to come up. He's still raw. Let's cook him a little longer. Let's let him go through situations. Oh, Apostle, you don't know how much I've suffered. Well, if you've suffered, good for you. It suits you. Now, that suffering, has it helped you? Has it exercised your senses to make you a wiser person today? Yes. 